Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to head up to Gothenburg once again, or Utebor as you would say in Swedish of course, and we're returning to a brewery who have quite a good reputation. So for this one we're going to go back to OO Brewing, and this time we are trying their Long Boil Barley Wine. This of course is the 2016 edition, as far as I know they brew a different version of this beer every year, so I need to keep an eye out for that in the future, but as you may have guessed from the name, this guy is a barley wine. It comes in at 10% ABV and it's actually quite highly rated. This guy got a 91 overall on rate beer, so it should be a really quite nice beer. And this is a brewery, of course, that I've had very good experiences with in the past. Most of the beers that I've tried from these guys, I think, have been uh, have been IPAs. I'm sure I've tried a Baltic Porter from them at some point, and I did try their Olympia Scotch Ale as well, which was really quite an interesting beer. So definitely looking forward to this one. This is a brewery in Sweden, are very highly rated, of course. So I hope you guys enjoy my take on this beer. But anyway, as is usual with my beer reviews, then I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery. If you want to get straight to the tasting, of course, just fast forward. All the usual links are in the description below. That's the brewery website. The link to my other reviews I've done from OO Brewing. Before. No doubt we'll add some more in the near future. There's all the usual social media. If you want to see more beer reviews, do consider subscribing to the channel. The whole channel, of course, has a geography based tagging system, so you can go into the home page and search for beer based on country, city, or state, whatever it is you're interested in. Do check out the playlist of beers from different countries. There is one there for all the Swedish beers that I've reviewed for you. That's constantly being added to, of course. And as always, please do get in touch and let me know some of the other beers and breweries that you guys would like to see me review. It's always great to hear from you guys, so don't hesitate to get in touch through the Facebook, Twitter, Untapped, whatever you want. So anyway, to tell you a little bit about OO Brewing. So as I told you a little minute ago, OO Brewing are based in Gothenburg, Utebor as you would say in Swedish, and they were founded back in 2011 by Olaf and Ole Andersson, who are childhood friends, and for many years they were also avid home brewers as well. So the beer have always been interested in beers and Ole has apparently been heavily involved in the Gothenburg beer scenes prior to being at, of drinking age of course. So he's also the brewer at Stieg Berriot's Brewery and this is where most of the uh, of the OO brewing beers are actually brewed. So while Ole is brewing, Olaf manages the business side of the company and apparently the whole idea is just that they wanted to make beers that they really enjoyed themselves and of course they've got some really good things. I've really enjoyed the mussels when I tried that and the Narangi of course is a really good beer. And like I said, these guys are quite closely related with Stieg Berriot. So if you want to try some good Swedish beers, Stieg Berriot and uh, OO Brewing are a very good place to start. And Gothenburg in general, Utebori, is a very, very good beer city these days. You've got Bearded Rabbit, Beer Bibliotech, uh, Dugis are close by as well. There's some really, really good breweries up there. So if you're visiting Sweden and you want to try some good beer, Gothenburg is definitely the place I'd suggest you go. So yeah, that's enough about the brewery just now. As I said, I'll put the brewery website in the description below and you can have a look at that if you want to learn more about the brewery for yourself. But the main point to take away is that these guys are a very highly rated brewery here in Sweden. So yeah, that's all you need to know just now. We'll get on to the tasting of this beer itself. So yeah, quite simple artwork on this one. A lot, quite different from the other ones you get from uh, from OO Brewing. There's not much going on in this guy at all. It's kind of just a, a sort of plain label on this one. Plain bottle cap of course as well. It tells you, it doesn't tell you much on the side here. It just says best before 12 2026. So you can age this beer for, uh, for 10 years. But I did speak to some people and they said that it's nice now. Hence why I'm reviewing it for you. But yeah, let's get this guy out then and we'll get on with the taste and really looking forward to this one. So yeah, nice smoky opening there. 10% barley wine like I told you at the start of the video. And we'll get it out and into the glass. You can smell some of these nice fruity characters off this one. And of course you can see it's a little bit darker. That's what a uh, a longer boil does to your beer, of course, it just makes it that little bit darker, but it's really clear actually, it's a lovely, I'm not sure how well you can see that on the video, but this guy, if I hold it up to the light, it's a nice, it's a really lovely, very dark blood orange colour, this one, there's a solid finger or so of a frothy, slightly beigey cream head on this, there's one or two big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass, and a couple of little ones just going up towards the bottom of the head there, but overall it's really nice and it is crystal clear actually, it's almost like a sort of reddish mahogany colour, sort of dark um, blood orange kind of thing, there's a lot 
uh, there's a lot of nice colour coming out of this beer and it is a little bit darker so I quite like that and like I say that's one of the things you get when you do a longer boil on your brew but yeah let's have a closer look at the aroma then and see how we get on. You can smell some of these lovely fruity characters coming off this and there's a good bit of caramel too but we'll take a closer look at this. Ooh, that smells really nice. So yeah, as you would expect, there's a lot of caramel. There's a lot of caramel in there. Some nice kind of darker tree colour molasses as well. There's a good bit of bready character to this one. And this, is, this must be one of the types of malt they're using that's doing this. Because I remember a similar aroma when I tried the Scotch ale as well. Yeah, it's got this lovely kind of brown bready character just underpinning it. There's a bit of woody an almost nutty character mixing in with that too. But yeah, some toasty notes, a little bit of biscuit, I think. You can smell some earthiness to the hop. There's a little bit of floral and sort of grassy character going on, but the red fruits are quite apparent in this one. So there's some raisins and sort of figgy notes coming out of this beer. And maybe there's a sort of kind of peary or apple ester in this one too, sort of orchard fruit coming out of this. Yeah. It almost smells a little bit medicinal as well, that sort of bready character coming out of the malt base makes it just smell a little bit medicinal, which is, uh, which is quite interesting, almost like cough syrup or something. But yeah, there's quite a bit going on in this beer, I do like how it comes across. It's not quite aniseed that's coming out of this one, but it does have almost that, just a little bit of that medicinal quality to it. Yeah. So it's really interesting. As I always say with these stronger beers, just take a little bit of time and enjoy the aroma of it before you actually try it. You can smell this as a big boozy beer though, and you know, from a barley wine, that's what you want. But yeah, there's a really interesting aroma to this one. It, that medicinal quality to it makes it a little bit different from some of the other barley wines that I've come across before. But yeah, let's get stuck into this beer then. So this one is the Long Boil Barley Wine from Old Old Brewing, the 2016 edition, 10% barley wine from Jutebori here in Sweden. Skål. Yeah, that's a nice beer. And the thing that surprised me about this one as I said, normally I would guess that you have to age a barley wine for at least a year before you can uh, enjoy it properly, but this one is nice as it is. I think there's quite a, there's a lot of stuff going on in this one already. Yeah. I do like how that comes across. And like I was mentioning earlier, that a little bit of the malty character in this one, it reminds me of the Olympia Scotch Ale. It really does. But that's nice. I like how this one comes across. I can feel more and more, the beer's just warming up slightly of course, but I can feel that with it getting gradually more caramelly and biscuity and things like that, which is quite nice. Yeah, there's definitely, you can feel that so there's a similar malty character to this one, to the Scotch ale that they did. And I'd be interested to know what that is. It must be just one of the malt varieties that they're using in this one. But yeah, you can feel... There's a sort of pale malty base to this one. On top of that, there's a nice kind of uh, bready character to the beer. You can feel a little bit of the biscuity note coming out. There's a lot of caramel and brown sugar in there, of course, as well. But yeah, that's really nice. Like I say, as it warms up, you feel more and more of those brown sugars coming out of this one. So yeah, there's some nice sort of caramelly notes in there. It's a bit of a lighter caramel actually, almost like a caramel wafer or something like that. There's a good biscuity presence to this one for me. The darker sort of treacle molasses notes, as the Americans would call it, those notes are a little bit more subdued in this one, but you can feel them just right in the middle of your palate, slightly towards the back. But then you feel the biscuity and lighter caramel just as you come further forward. And there's that sort of bready 
Um, it's almost a bit like a rye bread actually, that sort of brown bready, rye bready presence to this beer in there as well. I really like how this one comes across actually, there's a lot of stuff going on in this one. There is almost some kind of woody or nutty undertone to the beer as well, there's a little bit of a kind of added complexity to this one which is nice and that's what you want, you want things that are going to uh, give the beer a little bit of complexity and kind of test your palate as well, especially as a beer reviewer. But yeah, that's nice. There is a little bit of a, an almost medicinal quality to this one too, which is interesting. So, the hoppy side of the beer is nice as well. In the back corners of the palate, I'm getting a little bit of earthiness. As, I come, as you come further forward, there is a little bit of an almost herbal character to this one. In the front corners of the palate, it's a little bit floral, I think. But still, to me, it's earthy and herbal. And around the front curve of the palate, it's uh, slightly grassier, I think. But the fruity notes from this beer are interesting as well. Yeah, there's a nice bit of red fruity character to this one. To me, it's coming across as more of a figgy note, I would say. It's mainly figs coming out of this one. There is a little bit of that kind of candied red fruit ester that I always talk about that's like the Haribo the little heart shaped sweets and Haribo star mix, it reminds me of that um, and then later on as you move further into the aftertaste I'm getting some of the apple and sort of peri esters coming out of the beer which is quite interesting, it does have a little element of that uh, orchard, fruit orchard fruit character to it, sorry, but it's, I mean overall the thing to take away from this one is that it's a really nice beer and I do quite like the the sort of characteristic bready feel that they're putting into some of these dark beer, these stronger beers rather, like the barley wine and the scotch ale. I mean, it's turned out really nicely. I think I'll need to get another one of these and age it a little bit more, maybe see how this one matures over a year or two. But at, even at, even now, it's a really nice beer, this one, and it's a slightly different take on the barley wine. In terms of the style, it's probably somewhere between the English barley wine and the... Um, and the American barley wine, and in some ways it does have a little bit of the, the kind of quadruple quality about it as well because with the way that the malt base comes out, as I'm saying, there's that sort of bready and it's, it's maybe even slightly spicy character. There's that sort of bready spicy character there from the malt base, so in a way there maybe is just a tiny little bit of Belgian quadruple quality to this one as well, but overall it's a nice beer. The style, of course, to me doesn't matter all that much. It's whether it's a good beer or not, and on that count, it certainly does hit the ticket, you know, it's, it's a really quite nice beer, but you wouldn't expect anything else from OO Brewing anyway. In terms of the mouthfeel, this one, I would say this guy is probably mid-bodied. No, scrap that. This is a full-bodied beer, this one. It's, it's a big, oily beer, and it does gradually get more oily as it warms up. I think I'm serving this one about 8-9 degrees. It maybe should be uh, a little bit warmer than that. But yeah, it's around 8-9 degrees just now and you can feel it getting gradually thicker as you take more and more of a sip of this one. But it's got a big oily mouth feel. Carbonation on this one is quite smooth. There's a lot of sweetness from the malt. So there is a little bit of spicy character there from the, the kind of bready notes that I was talking about as well. The hops on this one are a little bit smooth. There is a little bit of dryness there. There's just a wee bit of dryness around the edge of your tongue. Some nice juicy fruity characters as well. Like I say, a little bit of red fruit and some sort of apple peary notes as well. But it's an interesting barley wine. It's different from a lot of the other ones I've had, mainly because of that sort of bready malt character that it has and some of the kind of orchardy esters that are coming off this one um, later on in the aftertaste. But the aftertaste also gives you a little bit of a kind of medicinal character as well. And the woody, you can feel the woody and nutty undertones to this one in the aftertaste as well. So overall, it's a really kind of quite interesting and unusual barley wine, this one, and I do like the kind of interpretation that these guys, or the, the different styles, the darker beers and the stronger beers that these guys are doing. It's always interesting to try something that's a slightly different a slightly different pace, if you like. So yeah, another really interesting beer from OO Brewing, and quite different from their IPAs, and indeed from the Baltic Porter that I tried before. It's actually not too far away from the Scotch as well, obviously different malt varieties and stuff like this, but it reminds me quite a bit 
of uh, of the Scotch ale. Maybe they've done the kind of uh, maybe they did a long boil on that as well. But overall, it's a really quite nice beer. This one. So yeah, if you get the chance to try this one, I highly recommend that you do. I think this one actually only cost about forty or fifty crowns in Sweden, which is good, of course, for a ten percent barley wine beer. But to me, this is a really nice beer. So once again, I hope you've enjoyed my beer reviews. Thank you for watching. Until the next time, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. If you get the chance to try some of the OO Brewing beers or the Steve Berriot's ones, of course, too, I highly recommend that you do. These guys are doing some really, really nice stuff. And Gothenburg, like I said, is a very good beer city in general. So yeah, until the next time, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. I'll catch you guys very soon with more beer reviews. Make sure you check out OO Brewing and a lot of these breweries from around the Gothenburg area, slanted just now, the, bar the long boil barley wine from Old Brewing in Gothenburg here in Sweden. Cheers.